the next topic here uh, is pointing and positioning techniques in computer graphics so this is one of the interesting concept let's have a look on it so you know the concept of pointing and you know the concept of positioning right a general terms the general words pointing means you are trying to navigate to something right <laughs> you are pointing out and positioning means you are trying to change something so what do you mean by this the pointing and the positioning or interactions used in computer graphics they are doing some operation right so when they are doing some operation means we you call it as an interactions it is doing some interactions between the user and the system something so the pointing and the positioning or interactions used in the computer graphics suppose if you talk about the pointing the pointing devices we also call it as a pointing tools okay the pointing device is also called as pointing tools which which is a hardware component used to shift the cursor in a computer program or graphical user interface operating system so the main thing here it is a pointing devices is a hardware component that is clear and why we are using this pointing uh, device what is the use of it it shifts the cursor the cursor that you are seeing on the screen it is trying to move the cursor with the help of the pointing devices only okay in a program or graphical user interface operating system so there we are trying to write the program so with the help of that program only you are navigating to the cursor is going to be navigated so for example if you take the mouse what the mouse is doing the mouse is you can click the mouse you can point the mouse and you can drag and drop also these are all the features that the mouse can do a pointing device can do okay now what about the positioning positioning techniques are used to move the object from one position to another position so with the help of the pointing device only you are trying to move the object from one position to another position so if you work on the computer graphics both the pointing and the positioning is also required okay so with the help of the suppose if you take the mouse you are clicking on the uh, one picture okay you just click on the one picture with the help of the mouse and you are trying to drag that picture okay you are trying to drag that picture you can increase the size of the picture and you can move that picture from one position to another position okay so this is a performing operation that is a point pointing and positioning means arranging the arranging the object from one place to another place okay so that is a positioning now let's have a look on what are the different types of pointing and positioning devices the different pointing and positioning devices are mouse joystick graphics tablet pointing stick mouse and light pen now let's have a look on each and every pointing and positioning devices with a diagram so this is our general mouse you all know that this is a mouse <laughs> excuse me right mouse is what it is a lightweight device right or wrong so here i am showing the mouse so this is a lightweight device which is used to control the movement of the cursor with the help of the mouse i am going to control the cursor on a computer screen so it moves on a flat surface remember that student you have to place the mouse on a flat surface then only it can perform the operation because with the help of this trackball so it is going to work on the uh, flat surface what is the function of the mouse what this uh, mouse is going to do you can click the mouse you can right click the mouse and you can drag it and you can scroll it so in the uh, scroll bar will be uh, it's there you can scroll this and you can also perform the double click operation so these are all the functions of the mouse now coming to the next light pen so a light pen is a handheld light sensitive device so by using the light pen uh, from the light pen a light is emitting so it is just like a pen if you see it is looking like just like a pen only but you have to connect to the computer with the help of a wire see in the diagram so with the help of the wire this is the uh, usb uh, connector you can connect that uh, connector to your system so it can be connected to the computer by a wire a light pen contains a device at the tip that emits light so if you see here here there is a tip it is going to emit a light on the screen 
mostly light pens are used by graphic designers so who who are going to use these light pens the people who are working on the graphics graphics uh, designing they are doing the graphic designing they can mostly use the light pens and engineers also use and even the illustrators are also work on these light pens the light pen sends the information to the computer when we touch the pen on the computer screen to the computer screen so whenever you touch the uh, button on the light pen then only the light is going to be emitted now coming to the joystick so this is mainly used for the gaming purpose right the joystick has two parts one is the base if you see here this is a base and this is a stick okay this part this is a stick we can move the stick in every uh, every direction to shift the object from one position to another position on the computer screen suppose uh, we we can also use the mouse also to shift the uh, object from one position to another position but here the joystick when you are working on the uh, games when you uh, when we are uh, playing the games so for that we uh, this joystick is very very useful okay with the help of these control buttons you can easily pick the object and you can place wherever you, you require it is similar to the mouse or a trackball only but mainly we used to play computer games we can go for the joystick it has a first interface and also used in the computer aided design sorry fast interface it's a it's a fast interface so that's why we are going with the joystick when rather than with the mouse so when you are working on the mouse when you are playing with the games it is somewhat slow so it's better to go with the joystick so that you can uh, uh, your games can perform very well so it is because of the fast interface another thing is a graphics tablet a graphic tablet is also called as a digitizer uh it contains a flat pad on which we can draw an image or shape with the pen called stylus so here if you see this is a graph tablet so with the help of these only i with the pen this is a flat surface whatever i am writing here that you are going to see on the screen okay you are able to see on the screen so this is a uh one of the pointing uh, and positioning device okay so we can draw an images or shapes with the help of the pen called stylus so this is a pen of we generally call it as a stylus the image gets drawn on the screen as we draw on a flat pad so whatever the, that i am drawing here in the flat panel so this greeks for geeks so this uh, whatever i am trying to write here that is going to be displayed on the screen this is a flat pad on the flat pad i am trying to write the matter it is mostly used by graphic designers to produce accurate drawing and pictures when you are working on uh, uh, picture drawing so it's better to use the graphic tablet next is a pointing stick so see here if you observe your laptop most of the laptops are having these pointing sticks <laughs> excuse me everyone will get it out something like if you see in between the uh, uh, these uh, buttons the keyboard buttons there is some red color button will be there that you call it as a pointing stick the pointing device is also known as a pressure sensitive device we call this as a pre pressure sensitive device it exists between the keys of the keyboard it is similar to the pencil eraser only okay and it uh, the pointing stick works like just like a mouse but when we touch the finger on the pointing stick when you touch the finger on the pointing stick the cursor moves on the computer so just like a mouse it is when you are trying to touch that a pressure is applied here on the keystrokes the cursor is going to move on the computer screen the pointing stick does not need any extra space like mouse so here i mouse i am placing my mouse separate an extra space is required but the pointing stick does not require any extra extra space it is inbuilt in the keyboard somewhere it, it is present on the keyboard so it is mostly used in a notebooks so these are all about the different pointing and positioning devices so thanks for watching still if you having any doubts please let me know thank you